Hey you guys and welcome to Dollar Workout Club. I'm Lynn, this is Natalie, and this is Drew. And we're gonna be coaching you throughout this intensive cardio workout today. We're wearing color coordinated tank tops so that you can know who to follow throughout this exercise. If you're a beginner and wanna do some modified movements, you're gonna be following me in green. For intermediate, you're gonna follow Natalie. And for the most intense version of the exercises, you're gonna be following Drew here in red. We're just doing two cardio movements today, and I'm gonna show you both of those movements along with modifications so that you know who to follow. Natalie's actually gonna show the green version for me. We're gonna be doing some sprints in place inside the house, which I mm. like, because right now it's raining outside. <laughs> so what you're gonna do if you're green or modified, you're just gonna be moving your feet up and down as fast as you can. So kind of like marching in place. The quicker you move your feet, the harder it's gonna be and really get that heart rate up. So I really challenge you to move your feet as fast as possible. We just wanna keep the intensity and impact down on your joints, which is why we're not jumping or running in place. If you're intermediate level, you are going to be jogging as fast as you can in place. You're not at a full sprint, but you're moving your feet pretty fast. Again, really getting that heart rate up, trying to move as quickly as you can go. And then for advanced, Drew's gonna go cray cray like over that. here, all right? <laughs> He's gonna really be moving his feet. You're gonna be really like fast feet. Think of like, I know Drew always calls this fast football feet. So you're gonna be moving as fast as you can, really sprinting, <sighs> pumping those arms, okay? Really getting that heart rate elevated because we're gonna have a break period. So you're gonna push yourself and then break. The only other movement we're gonna be doing is side to side jumps. So for a beginner or modified, I'm just gonna have you step wide from side to side. Stepping wide, bringing <clears> it back back and forth. And again, the faster you go, the harder it's gonna be, the slower you go, the easier it's gonna be, so go at your own pace. For yellow, you can do two different things. You can either jump side to side, and you can go at a little bit of a slower pace than what you'll probably see Drew doing, or if you're a woman like me and you wanna make sure you don't pee your pants after you have <laughs> kids, me and Natalie would probably be doing it where you do it one foot at a time, jumping like that. Okay, yeah. so you have a couple different options. We're just keeping it real here at Dollar. Yeah, we just like to be honest because we know if you guys are, if we're peeing our pants here, you guys are probably at home peeing yeah. your pants too. So we like to show you the different versions. And I'm sorry if you don't have kids yet or if you're a dude, I'm sorry if we Hashtag just woman you club. Hey, I'm not, sorry. Okay. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay. All right, for the red version, you're going to be jumping side to side as fast as possible, as you can see. I'm just gonna make him keep doing it. No, just kidding, just kidding. So you're gonna just move energy. side to side, jumping with both feet, planning fast, 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 <clears> really <throat> kicking off each time you land. And you're really not breaking, okay? You're just going as fast as you can from side to side, jumping as fast as you can. You guys, those are the two core movements we're doing. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a really good sweat session. Natalie and I are just gonna start a little warm up to get those joints warm before we jump right into the workout. So Drew's gonna explain the entire workout for us while we do that. So follow along with us. Yeah, okay, so today's workout is actually gonna be on the screen so you could follow along, but I'll just explain it really quick. 60 seconds of a sprint, 60 second rest, 50 seconds side to side jumps, really quick, 50 second rest, 40 second sprint, 40 second rest, 30 second side to side jumps, 30 second rest, 20 second sprint, 20 second rest, 10 second sprint, 10 second rest. And then to top it all off, to, you know, in, on a, in with a bang, we're doing 60 seconds of a sprint at the very end, all out, even though we went all the way down to 10. So that's the structure of the workout. If you get lost, remember it's just gonna be on the screen uh, so you can follow along in case you get lost. I'm gonna jump in with these guys for the warm up because I'm gonna need to be warm for this one. Okay, what are we doing, high knees? Yep, yeah. <coughs> almost done with high knees. <coughs> then we're gonna move into 30 seconds of a little bit butt kickers, All right? Just bringing those back feet up. Just really loosening everything up, you guys. Like Drew was explaining for the workout, since these are really high intensity interval trainings and you're going all out, you do not want to jump into this cold, okay? You don't want to roll out of bed, just say, hey, I'm going to skip the warm up, jump right in the workout, because you could pull something or injure yourself. So make sure you do warm up, okay? We're doing this one more set through, just 30 seconds about of jumping jacks. We'll do a few more high knees. We'll do a few more butt kickers, and then we're going to run and go right into it, you guys, okay? Literally, we're going to run. And literally, we're going to run. Hopefully fast. <laughs> I Your feel like I'm gonna try to dig deep to think of like all of the really good analogies that I know Natalie would give <laughs> because she was like a sprinter, and did track and I didn't. So I might try to come up with some interesting stuff. We'll see. We'll see how creative I get in this workout. But seriously you guys, just stay focused, listen to me, keep moving. Don't quit on yourself during this. It's a fast, fast workout. It's gonna rock. All right, we're almost there. Let's do a few more butt kickers. Your heart rate should definitely be up by now. Yep, you should be warm. Might be a little bit hard to breathe. And make sure you also have a water bottle close by you because you might want to grab some water in between that rest time. Try to 
bring that heart rate down and stay hydrated. All right, you guys, we're gonna be getting started really quickly. We just have a little less than 10 seconds. Get into position, get ready for your sprint. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. We're sprinting, you guys. Moving those legs. Okay, you wanna try to be fast, but you also wanna try to do a pace that you can be consistent throughout the 60 seconds, okay? Giving it your all, but realizing you do need to pace yourself. Keep breathing. Focus just on your current task. You're just running. You're running as fast as you can. You're moving. You're moving as fast as you can, right? Don't think of anything else. I'll watch the timer for us. Keep going. It helps to pump your arms. The faster you pump your arms, the faster your feet will go. And I like to imagine that there's an imaginary string right here, and my hands are reaching towards that string each time. So you're getting a nice, solid arm movement. I think she has like really good running advice. <laughs> Told ya. Told ya. <laughs> keep going, you guys. We're almost there. Keep moving. Keep pumping those arms. Keep moving those legs. We have about a little less than 15 seconds. You got this. Dig deep. Don't quit. Don't let up early, okay? Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. You're going to have 60 seconds break. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Good job, you guys. Your heart rate should be nice and elevated it right is. now. It is. So take a deep breath, get a drink of water, move around a little bit still, okay? Try to catch that breath and try to calm your breathing before we start our next set. And remember, we're gonna be doing 50 seconds of the side to side jumps this time, okay? We'll let you know when it's getting closer to start. <sighs> Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. About 35 We're, seconds until we start. Today's workout is uh, almost nine minutes long, you guys. Um, so it's a really quick one, but it's very effective when it comes to fat loss. Yeah, interval Ooh. training, you guys, it has an afterburn. Up to 48 hours, you're burning calories afterward. That's the difference between these type of structured high-intensity workouts versus maybe a traditional one you might do at the gym. So working out smarter, not longer. We're almost there, you guys. We're going to be starting in eight seconds. So we get into place, remember we're doing our side to side jumps. Think of the modifications that you want to do. Go all out, three, two, one, and go, okay? Remember if you're green, you're just moving fast from side to side. If you want to make it harder, go even wider, okay? And you can go quicker, move those feet faster, okay? Keep going. Focus on your breathing, like you can hear Drew breathing. All out, we're just 50 seconds this time. So you have a little less than 30 seconds, high intensity throughout. Okay, then you're gonna get a 50 second break. So no pausing, no quitting. If you need to slow down a little bit, that's okay, but I want you to keep that heart rate elevated. Keep moving no matter what. Keep going, almost there. Side to side. Keep going, you guys, just 10 more seconds. Keep pushing through it. Move as fast as you can. Give it your all the last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Good job, guys. Good, get a drink of water if you need it. Really try to catch that breath. Good job, Bring that heart rate back down. I know this is a tough one. It's a quick workout, but it's tough. Your heart rate will be elevated. We have this low intensity, and we're gonna superset that. So we have 40 30. second sprint next. Yep, we have about 30 seconds left until we gotta go. All right. Oh, man. Your heart rate probably get to its maximum levels if you're going all out on these ones. And remember, when you're shorting for a, sh for a shorter period of time, you can usually go faster. Like if you're sprinting for yeah. 20 seconds, your body can move faster than if you were going to be sprinting for 60 seconds. Yep. So honestly, just really focus on going all out as hard as you we're can. We're starting in 10 seconds, you guys. We're doing 40 second sprints. So like Natalie said, full intensity, give it your all, okay? Here we go. Three, Three two, one. Moving, moving fast, you guys. Moving those feet fast. Keep your legs up. Keep those arms pumping. Like Natalie said, the faster we pump your arms, it will propel you to keep going. Okay, breathe. Breathe and just think of moving those legs and I'll let you know when we get closer. Good job, okay? guys, good job. We're almost there. We're about halfway. Okay, keep going. You can do anything for another 15 seconds, right? Keep moving, move faster, okay? Bring up that intensity. Finish strong. Almost there, you guys. Keep breathing, keep pumping, keep moving. Five, four, four, three, two, two one. Woo! Oh, good job, nice guys. job, you guys. 40 seconds of rest. Calm that heart rate. Start to take some deep breaths. Get a drink of water if you need it, because we have the 30 seconds of side to side next. Oh, it's hard to breathe. Yeah. 
Now you should be breathing really, really hard right now. If you're not breathing that hard, then you need to go up to the next level, okay? So if you can still hold a conversation with somebody, if you could still talk normally, then you're not working hard enough. Yep, and here we go, you guys. We're starting in five seconds. Side Four, to side. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds of side to side, you guys. Really going wide, doing fast movements, propelling and pushing your feet. Bounce, 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 okay? If you're doing the green or modified, bring those legs out wider. Bring them in faster, okay? Get that heart rate up. This is a fast one. Remember, it's just 30 seconds, okay? We only have just about 10 seconds left. Full intensity. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, Good, guys. you guys. All right. We have 30 seconds of rest. Really try to bring that heart rate down again. Get a drink of water again. So we're going to go into a 20-second sprint. A 20-second sprint, imagine if you're going as fast as you can, that's about one curve on a track. So if you can look at a football field and the track around it, you're going to run the straight part. Imagine that, or imagine the curve. That's about 100 meters. That's it. So go okay, as you guys. hard and as fast as All you can. All out. Five, four, three, two, one, and sprint. Fast, you guys. Move that body. Move it faster than you could before, because this is a fast, this is only 20 seconds, okay? This is not the minute. I want you to keep going, just like this. Do whatever you can to keep that movement, okay? Pump those arms. Move those feet. You're almost there. Don't quit on yourself, and don't quit on me. Keep going. Three, two, one, and break. Good job, guys. Good job, Jim. Nice job. Good job, Lynn. So we have that 20 seconds of rest, which is going to be really quick, and we're going to be doing 10 seconds of side to side, okay? So we're starting pretty soon. Starting in 10 seconds. All right, we have five seconds. We're going to do 10 seconds of side to side. Three, two, one, go. This is fast, you guys. As quick 10 as you seconds, can. as quick as you can. I want fast movements, as fast as possible. Five seconds. Lift those feet. Move, move, two, one, and rest. All right, you guys, this is the hardest part. We're starting in seven seconds. We're doing a 60 second sprint to end. It's going to be brutal. Just push through it. Two, one, and go. Remember Keep that body, you guys. It's not a jog, it's a sprint. Sprint as fast as you can. This is going to be the hardest part, okay? Heart rate's elevated. You're already out of breath. You're fatigued. Push through it, you guys. This is where you're going to see the most results, okay? Push harder than you have this entire time. Lift those legs. Pump those arms and breathe. Okay, keep going. We're 20 seconds in. Keep moving. Giving it your all, even if you're slowing down. Just keep pushing yourself, okay? Don't quit. Don't stop. If you have to slow down the intensity, that's okay, but keep moving. Okay? You guys are doing awesome. Woo, we're over halfway. You can do anything for less than 30 seconds, you guys. Keep moving. Take big breaths. Notice we're breathing real heavy. That's what you should be doing, too. Almost there. Keep pushing, you guys. We're almost to the 10 second mark. I want you to give it your all for this last 10 seconds. Here we go. Go. Eight as fast seconds as you left. Can. Move as fast as you can. Bring those legs up. Pump those arms. Go, 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 go. Two, one, and done. Oh, okay. Nice job, Woo. Lynn. Nice job. Awesome. Good job. And nice job at home. <sighs> that is a really tough cardiovascular workout. If you're not breathing hard, if you're not out of breath, Okay, that means that maybe you want to go up a level for the next workout that we do, okay? Because this is really about focusing and pushing yourself, okay? It's you versus you. As we're calming that heart rate down, get a drink of water, take a few deep breaths. We're going to be going into our cool down and our stretching segment, which is really important to do. So we'll take a couple quick more seconds to breathe, and we're yeah. going to get down. So right now we're trying to focus on bringing our heart rate down, okay? So you do that. I like to still kind of pace. So that's just my personality. I like to just walk slowly. And then I'll take con focus on taking deep breaths because you really want to put a lot of oxygen into your body and control your heart rate, start bringing it back down to normal, okay? All right, we're going to come down to the ground, you guys, start our stretching. We're going to do a on the ground calf stretch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have your back leg out, okay, you're on your toes. You're pressing that heel towards the ground and you can either be doing what Drew and Natalie are doing where they have their other leg up pushing that down, which is stretching their calf muscle, or you can do what I do. I'm in a little bit of a runner stance and I'm just leaning back, trying to get that heel towards the ground. Switch. Okay, switch. Nice job. Woo. I love those quick, brutal workouts. You know, we focused on working out smarter, not longer. 
You're gonna probably be sweating for a while after this. That's normal. Is oh, yeah. Burn? Yeah, right. while, you're, while you're doing that stretch, if you start to feel the head, the blood like rush to your head, then stop for a second. Allow your body to adjust and then get back into that stretch, Ooh. okay? So get on one of your knees, put the other foot in front. What you're doing is you're pushing with this hip forward while you're pushing your back back, propelling yourself back by pushing, your, pushing off of this leg. So you're gonna be feeling the stretch right here in your hip flexor. Oh man, I'm sweating so much more now that I'm done. Yeah, I know. That's how it works. That's normal. You'll probably find yourself sweating for a lot longer after the workout. Mm -hmm. Whew. All right, we're gonna stretch the other side. So switch oh. knees. Pushing that hip forward, but pushing your back back. Mm. You should really feel it right there in your hip flexor. Hold that there for just about 30 seconds. Good job today, guys. This is a fun workout that you literally yeah. can do anywhere. So kind of keep this workout in the back of your mind. Even if you know it's your day to stream, to log in and stream, and you need to get a quick cardio workout, you can just do this workout again. You know, in a week or two weeks, if you're traveling for business, this is a great no. workout that we can do anywhere. You can even do it outside if the weather's awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. All right. Get up. <sighs> nice job, you guys. We totally appreciate you. We love you being a part of our club, and we're excited to see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. Today we're going to make baked salmon, and I know it sounds fancy, but I promise it takes less than five minutes to prepare and just a few minutes to cook. It's a really easy recipe that you can whip up really quick for your family. All you need is a filet of salmon. Usually I'll cook two that are about this size for my whole family of four. But today we're just gonna do a single portion size. And then just take any white wine. You can, I prefer a dry white wine, but a sweet white wine is okay too if you need to. You just pour that on top of your salmon. That was about a third to a half of a cup. And then I just sliced up some lemons. And you put that right on top of the salmon. And then you take onions that I cut into rings and you just put those right on top. And then sprinkle with salt and pepper. If you want, you could also put the salt and pepper on before you put on the lemon and the onion, but it doesn't really matter what order. And then you just take another piece of foil and loosely cover the salmon. Kind of like you're making a little hat over the salmon. Then you're just going to bake this about 20 to 25 minutes until it's uh, no longer pink. It's cooked all the way through and you're done. All right, while the salmon's in the oven, I like to make up a little dip that you can put on top of the salmon or put it on the side as a garnish if you want. It's not necessary, but it's just kind of a nice little addition. I take about half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Make sure you don't get the vanilla kind. Make sure you just get plain. And then I get just a little pinch of dill seed, or you can use fresh dill. Fresh dill actually tastes better, but it's harder to find. This you can just find in the spices section. And that's probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. And you can add a little bit more if you like the taste of that. And then <laughs> you're gonna squeeze half the juice of half of one lemon. And sprinkle sea salt. About six or seven grinds, just a little, just, just a pinch of sea salt. And then you just stir that all together. And you'll see when the salmon comes out that we can put that right on the side of your dish. This question comes from Sheila. This is actually a really good one. It says, I think one of my biggest struggles is figuring out clean eating and how to do meal prepping. I live on a fairly tight budget. I feel like if I could get better at clean eating and meal prepping, things will start falling in line for me. What can I do to learn more and improve in this area? You know, for us, one of the, the biggest keys to maintaining a healthy lifestyle I found on, on the physical side of things is to learning how to meal prep and making that a habit in your life because it just makes the healthy food 
so much more convenient than the unhealthy food, where society has the unhealthy food so much more convenient for us, right? So it's an uphill battle, but if you can meal prep, that's one of the keys to success in maintaining healthy lifestyle over the long term. So actually, if you can meal prep, it actually saves time and, and money on your budget if you learn how to cook in bulk. So generally what we you know, teach our followers to do is uh, twice a week we meal prep, we cook large meals in bulk, and we get our food ready to go for the next few days. So Sunday night usually is the day we, we do meal prep because it's usually night when people have a lot of time. And we spend about an hour, you know, cooking our meal, cutting up our snacks, getting things ready to go. And then we repeat that process again on Wednesday night um, with a different entree and different snacks so it's not the same food over and over again. And people love it because they're only cooking twice a week. They don't have to come home and think, oh man, I got to think of something new and healthy again. It just becomes exhausting. So if you can learn how to meal prep and make it a habit, it makes it so much easier to maintain a healthy lifestyle and you'll find that it saves time and money in the long run and it makes the healthy food more convenient than the unhealthy food. Yeah, and a lot of the recipes that we share with you guys are the exact same meal prep recipes that we do, like the broiled chicken, the crock pot shredded chicken, the uh, taco seasoning ground turkey. And I hear a lot of time from people, well, I don't like eating leftovers. And, you know, what you can do instead is just switch up the sauces or the condiments that you're using. Now, try not to use real heavy calorie laden condiments, but something I like to do a lot is I'll take uh, plain Greek yogurt and make some sriracha in it, and I dip my chicken and my potatoes in that, and that tastes really good. Or you can put some you know, spaghetti sauce on there, you can use Frank's hot sauce. I mean, there's all kinds of different ways that you can season your food so it doesn't feel like you're just eating the same thing every single night. And then as for the budgeting side of things, um, I mean, we definitely live on a tight budget as well. And I'm a huge Dave Ramsey fan. We follow you know, his program and it really helped us. And so we're really aware of how much we spend every single month on groceries. And what I found is that we buy in bulk. So for example, when chicken, goes, chicken breasts go on sale, say it goes on sale for $1.99 a pound, we stock up and buy a whole bunch and then freeze it. So we'll take it out of the container, trim the fat off, put it in Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer. So that way, every single time you make chicken, you know, oh cool, I got this at a, at a sale price, right? Instead of going to the store last minute and having to pay three or $4 a pound for it. And the same thing with fruit and vegetables. You know, we buy all of our, if we're buying fruit, we only get what's on sale at that grocery store for the week. In the winter, a lot of time fruit is a lot more expensive, so then we'll do frozen berries, which you can usually find around two or three dollars a pound. So, you know, you just are selective with the vegetables that, and fruits and meats that you buy and only get what's on sale for that week. And so, you know, the meals you make for that week are going to be based upon what was on sale at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really would just echo that same thing. You know, we buy fruits and vegetables in season. Um, we have easy snacks that are on hand. You can hard boil eggs and you can cook a variety of potatoes. And, you know, I do think cooking in bulk really does save a lot of money. People think healthy eating can be really expensive, but if you do a big crock pot of shredded chicken and like Natalie said, you bought that on sale and I even will price match. I'll get all the ads. I'll find the cheapest chicken breast at any of the stores. I'll take that ad to Walmart and price match so that I'm getting it below $2 a pound. And you do a big thing of shredded chicken. Yeah, it might, might seem boring, but you can slice it up because you could you know, take that shredded chicken and use some whole wheat tortillas to make like homemade enchiladas. You can another night use lettuce wraps and add you know, avocado and fresh peppers and eat it that way. You, know, you can make a healthier chicken salad with that. So there's like a lot of different ways you can use one main bulk meat recipe and still give variety and still reach your healthy goals. And, all those tips that they said really do help save you money. And I'm just gonna add real quick, you guys had a unique experience when Drew was doing his Fit to Fat to Fit journey where you actually tracked how much it cost to eat healthy and unhealthy, and if you wanna like, talk about yeah. that. Yeah, so it was really funny, when Drew was doing his journey, I, I was actually convinced that we would save so much money eating unhealthy because you see those like 10 for $10 sales and, and other things, and so I saved all my receipts, and of course being, the pers being a wife and thinking, I'm right. I was like, I'm going to save all the receipts and show him how much money we save, you know, eating unhealthy. So I saved all the receipts when he was gaining weight and then all the receipts when he was losing weight. And then when I sat down to crunch the numbers and do a cost analysis, I was like, dang it. <laughs> I had to admit that I, in a way I was wrong because the difference between those, especially when we factored in how you think, oh, eating out is, is cheap because they're really cheap, you know, menu items, the dollar menu or whatnot. But when I factored in how many times we ate out and with our kids and how expensive it was and then compared the week to week costs, we only saved maybe $15 a week eating unhealthy and that was like max and when you factor in some of the other costs like especially like healthcare or anything else obviously we weren't saving anything so it's surprising that you know eating healthy 
is more affordable than we realize, especially if we do it the smart way with buying fruits and veggies in season and price matching and finding you know inexpensive meats and cooking in bulk. So, hopefully that answers your question, Sheila. We love hearing from you guys. Please feel free to reach out to us on social media with your questions or comments. We'd love to address them, and or you can leave them in the comment section below here. Hey guys, we just want to take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you. Dollar Workout Club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys, and you mean so much to us. Yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe, or how you thought of the workout, or how you did in the workout, or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club, and don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.